My name is Michael Graham, and I am an illustrator, designer, printmaker, maker of leather-bound journals, and part-time bass fisherman. I have raised cotton, soybeans, and watermelons, and purple hole peas most of my life. And I found, as I mentioned to someone earlier, that there's a great deal of romance in both farming and art, not a lot of money in either. Printmaking these days, in a sense, is a, a lost art. You'll need to go to design schools and art schools before you find real printmakers. I think artists, accomplished artists, perhaps less so now, but certainly during the 19th century, Artists explored with whatever mediums they could find because there was a tremendous amount of discovery. Technique-wise, it's a little bit like the notion in art in general that it's all been done. And so it's a matter of finding something that is personal to the artist. A hundred years ago, 150 years ago, there was a tremendous amount of discovery in process and technique and I think that these artists explored that. Printmaking for the entrepreneurial artist is a wonderful way of being able to keep several of your originals because every print in an edition of 100 or 200 is an original. So the artist gets to retain several originals and then has the balance of the edition to put in the marketplace to generate revenue, which I think is important for artists to be able to do that. If you're a painter or if you're a, a sculptor, you can always create molds and produce another sculpture, but the original is still gonna be the original. A painter, once that painting has left the studio, once it has left the gallery and has been purchased, the painter, the artist himself, may be lucky if he ever sees his work again. If you're a printmaker and you produce a, a limited edition of 300 silkscreen prints, then you can keep a half a dozen and market every one of the others.